Hello all of you Spice Lords, this is Alan from Mystery MTG, and today we are doing another opening, a Time Spiral Remastered opening. And the last few openings have not been that great, um, and it's been a while, so I think we have to do another go-around, and we'll see! Will we finally get some amazing pulls? Now, we did get a lot of the um, old border foils, so I'm not angry, it's just, you know, they weren't very good. So we're gonna aim to, you know, prove... The Time Spell Remastered is one of the best recent sets ever released. Obviously, the remastered version of the original Time Spiral block. And I think we're just going to go for it. Uh, we'll crack some packs. I'm not going to organize it. We're just looking for the spicy hits, and we will have the spicy hits organized right in front. And uh, we're just going to chill. We're going to talk. We're going to have a good time. Let me put my... Let's put this down to increase the stability. Okay, first pack. All right, first pack, retro frame, foil fossies. I know it's here. Yes, indeed. I am prophetic. Um, you know, honestly, I don't know about the value for any of these uncommons. I know some of them are probably worth two to three bucks, but we don't care too much about that. Jaya, manifold key, and nothing else. So I'll put the rares down here. Um, you know what, let's keep the retro frame, uh, the rares, and the foils, and then the rest of it will just be put off to the side. So, I actually love this set. I bought a ton of it when it first came out, and um, I knew that it would be a good set, and I was right, and people loved it, and the price went crazy, and then people were like, oh, we're, you know, this is not a limited print run thing, why are we spending so much money? And then it, the price went down, so... Pulmonic Sliver, a Leveler, and an Insect Token. So, we'll put that over here. Nothing too crazy yet, unless some of these cards are worth $500, and I don't know. Probably not. Chalice of the Void, Yogmoth, both appreciating very, very well for this set. The um, Retro Frame Foils have, you know, obviously they've, they've dropped a bit in price, right? It's, you know, it's, it's normal that that happens, especially for... Some of them, you know, because it is technically rare to hit. You only get two in a box, right? Ooh, damnation. Damn. I'll take that. Damn, damnation. We'll put that in its own. Ooh, Leyline of the Void. I'll take that as well. Oh, and a foil Jaya Bilar Taskmage. That's not worth anything, but we'll take it. Leyline of the Void is a couple bucks. Obviously, damnation is like a $30 card. Um, we're happy with that. We will take it. We're going to continue moving. That's nothing too crazy. I want a Chalice of the Void. That is an $80 card now. It was like 15 bucks when Time Spell Remastered came out. Uh, reprinted from a master set. And Time Spell Remastered is considered a master set. Keep that in mind. It is indeed a master set. Come on, baby. Let me see something great. Just surprise me. You know what? Knock my socks off. That is not even close. Everflowing Chalice will take that, but not very good. Um, I think it's a very popper playable card, if I'm not wrong. Oh, that's the wrong wrong one. All right. I think some of the tokens might actually be worth money as well. This set, just to extend on that, was an incredibly good quality set. And it was interesting because this wasn't released too far after Commander Legends. And Commander Legends, I think it's about a year between... Commander Legends had some of the worst quality control I've ever seen for, um, ooh, Rift Bolt. For, uh, you know, honestly, the, the collector packs were just disgusting. Kerr Keep and Silence. You guys better be quiet while I'm opening my packs or you will get silenced. I will slap my pack across your face and uh, I'll probably get sued. So, yeah, that's why... Uh, you can sue me for a sealed product, and you might get something, but if you sue me for cash, you're getting nothing. Mystery MTG barely makes any money. Even though we do so much in sales, we have no profit margin. And that's the way it's supposed to be, right? We don't care about money. Who cares about money? I just care about sealed product. And a Greater Argadon, Vandal Blast, now that's like a six buck card, and a Dreamscape Artist. Vandal Blast is actually a little bit of money. That is not a bad card. Greater Gargadon can go suck it. Anyway, what were we talking about? Suing me? Yeah, let's not talk about that. How about Mr. MTG having no profit? Yeah, well, the monthly booster box crates are so unprofitable, it's actually insane. Um, 
one of the most common sets for people to hit is the Time Spiral Remastered box, which is like a 300, sells every day, any day for $300 in store. And people are getting it for 230 with us, which, you know, I've basically said the product will be discontinued um, in December, by December. Life and Limb, Dovin's Veto, three bucks. Um, it'll be discontinued by December, and that's just because it's not, it's not sustainable. We lose so much money. We had a streak of wins, and this is what you don't know about casinos. They're very shady, and the reason they're shady is even if you try to, you know, stack the odds against people, there will be RNG, and, and sometimes RNG will let people win big, and if people do win big, if you're shady, you're not gonna, you're gonna do whatever you can to not give them that product, right? Now, if you're legit and you care about your community, and I'm very happy to say that we care a lot about our community, ooh, abrupt decay, um, you will send out what people win, and, and you're happy to do that because that's the service you, you've created, and it's, a, it's kind of your ob obligation to do that, but you will end up losing a lot of money. When someone wins Onslaught, I have to send out the box, and um, believe it or not, the last person to win Onslaught... Uh, not only the packs, but the actual sealed box opened the box. Now, he got some pretty cool pulls and he showed me, but, you know, secretly in my head, I was like, you know, the box was worth, ooh, Ninja of the Deep Hours. And, oh, I'll take it. Now, it is for a card that it probably isn't worth too much, but the black retro frame foil, gray merchant of Asphodel, I will take it. And we're going to put it off to the side for safety. Beautiful. So this is the first retro frame foil we've hit, which means we probably... That's beautiful. That's gorgeous. The centering is nice. A little bit heavy on the left, but beautiful card. I'll take it any day, every day. And I think the um, rare... No, uh, that's a retro foil. The rare... Oh, never mind. I thought it was worth something. Never mind. Um, so, yeah, the guy opened the onslaught, and the, the pools were, you know, pretty good. I mean, he got some great... Great hits, but the box itself was worth $3,000. And I wanted to tear up and say, oh my god, <laughs> you, you opened that box. And it was such an expensive box. And I don't even know if he actually understood how expensive that box was. Coalition Relic and Blighted Woodland. That might be worth a little money, right? Maybe, potentially. I didn't say anything because ultimately you win what you win. And if you want to open it, you can. We, we sent someone a Gaia's Cradle recently, uh, Nicholas. And he, you know... Looks like he's going to be playing with the card, and that's beautiful, that's awesome. But obviously when you play with a very minty Gaia's Cradle, you're probably going to get some damage on it, right? And um, a lot of people would say, don't take it out of the, the, the top sleeve, don't take it out of the protective casing, and, you know, treat it nice, this is an expensive card. And Yeah, I get that too, but at the end of the day, it's a, it's a Magic the Gathering card. Come on, it's meant to be played. What else are we playing Magic for? Why else are we stacking a bunch of cards up? Is it just to sell the cards? Is it just to sell the boxes? No, that's boring. You could do that for anything. You could buy and sell watches. You can buy and sell houses. You can buy and sell stocks. It doesn't have to be Magic the Gathering. And in fact, you probably won't make very much money doing it with Magic the Gathering. I can tell you that as someone who has a company that certain individuals will value at over seven figures. Seven figures. A lot of people don't realize how much we do in sales. Uh, we do half a million a year in revenue at this point with no marketing. We rarely market Teleria West and Atali, Primal Storm, and a foil. We're getting a lot of foils. Anyone else notice that? We are hitting quite a few foils. I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, we do half a million in revenue off of magic cards and magic boxes. And um, you want to say how much money do you guys make? None. Literally none. In fact, we reported a loss of 40 something thousand dollars. And uh, that is why this is not sustainable. Luckily, we make money outside of the company, and this was always supposed to just be a... Ooh! Jean. <laughs> Thank you very much. I will take it. And Thraben Inspector, not as spicy, but I will take the Sliver Legion. Put it very safely over here. And we have no foil. That is fine. I will take... Oh, that's the wrong pile. Wrong pile. There we go. Move this over here. A lot of people say, why are you running a company if you don't have any profit? Well, the whole goal is that the brick and mortar becomes where we can sell accessories and all the other stuff that stores push on you for profit. But we can also still maintain our spicy, spicy crates or, or you know, the things that people love, the things that I love. You know, like I said, if, if I wasn't the one who started this business, I would be one of the biggest patrons. Ooh, Ponder. 
That is actually a really good retro frame hit. I rarely see this. Um, that's a very, very nice hit. It is not the foil, but that's like an $18 card. So we'll take it any day of the week. That is not bad at all. So yeah, people were like, uh, you know, why are you running the business? And it's like, okay, first of all, I'm not the kind of guy who ever quits on something, so I'm not gonna quit on the business. Second of all, life isn't all about money. I worked in finance and I worked in structured products, which is essentially packaged derivatives where you deal with crude oil and, you know, companies having having big projects that you're helping. Ooh, Astral Vision. Oh, we got a foil. No, not the one we wanted, but I'll take an Ancestral Vision for sure. Put that over here. So when you work in finance, you get tired of money. It's like, I don't always want to think about money. I kind of want to think about things that I enjoy. And one of the things I've enjoyed consistently forever has been Magic the Gathering. So I started a business where we actually made it very fair. We list, you know, we're very transparent with what you can get, the percentage chance of what you can get. And when you win something, you actually get it. Now, are we perfect? No, no one's, you know, really perfect. But, you know, we've made some mistakes. The recent um, Christmas crate was one. A year and a half ago, we had huge shipping issues because of COVID. USPS was losing a bunch of packages. That is something that comes with the game, right? Okay, we only got six minutes left before my phone runs out of energy. We've got to open the rest of these packs. I've been talking too much. Urza's Factory, Fungus Sliver, Exquisite Firecraft, and an another foil. Oh my god. We are getting a lot of foils, and it is not a joke at all. All right, next pack. I don't really care about anything but our spicy pools, so we'll go again. Come on, baby. Give me that chalice. Give me more retro frame foils. I'll take a lot of them. A lot of them are worth a lot of money. I mean, some of the not so great ones are worth like 30 something bucks. Benelish Commander, Rakdos Charm. And we continue to go. The train of spice is not stopping here. We only have five minutes left. Can we open? Oh, God. Oh, I've destroyed this pack. Will he open it? He does. He gets it open. <laughs> God. This is the worst. That is the worst pack opening I've ever seen. All right, we continue. We're, we're, we're going fast here. We're seeing if we can get the spice. We're waiting for the spice. Sudden death. Lotus Bloom. Stinkweed Imp and nothing else. Lotus Bloom, you always make me scared because I think I pulled a black lotus. Maybe one day they'll actually put one in a regular pack and someone will open it and be like, holy crap, I just pulled an alpha black lotus out of this Time Spar Remastered pack. Can you imagine that? What if it's a thing but it's one out of every... 15,000 packs. So, I mean, you've got to be addicted to get it, right? Flagstones, we'll take it. Feldon, we don't really want, but we'll take it anyway. All we want to see... I know this is giving some of you guys with OCD problems. We only got four minutes left, and we have too many packs. We will continue. I don't think we're going to make it in time, guys, but we'll get as far as we can. Anyway, like I said before, we, we started this company. Tall Rand, another foil, but not what we want. We started this company not to make money. I don't care about money. The whole goal is to have a community and to be able to create content and have people consume it and enjoy it. And, you know, kind of be able to say, like, this is my baby. This is my passion project. And that's what it's been. I've been proud about it. A lot of you have met me in person and, and you've said, you know, how are you guys able to do this? And I've given you the exact same. Uh, oh, I almost said answer. And then I saw this member and I said member. OK, so we'll put that here, here. We are cutting it close. I don't think we can do this in time. I'm trying. Ugh, come on. Give me at least the second retro frame foil. Before this video ends, I just want the retro frame foil, the second one. Come on. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. You've done it before. Arcades, you're not even close to what I want. Let's go. I'm not even going to get the rear out of there. Oh, Jesus. We have, we have quite a few packs left, and we only have three minutes. I know that sounds like a lot, but it takes me a while to open these packs. I know, but some of you are angry at me. I'm skipping over some good cards. I know, I get it, but we're Glittering Wish, Mirror Entity. Those are not great. Um, I think Glittering Wish used to be worth a little bit of money. Oh, the bulk is too big. All right. All right, everything's crazy. The cards are moving. Lotus Hands. is His hands are getting shaky. They're, I'm kidding. All right, we got to go. Come on. Come on. Second Retro Frame Foil. Come on. Return to Dust. Harmonic Sliver. If Liliana's Triumph and... Well, come on, what, what is this? If, I don't even want to see you. That's like a 20 cent card. It's not even close. Not even close to what we want to see. I think we're close, guys. 
Thoughtsies retro frame foil is here. It's gonna be in my hand, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Uh, just in a few seconds here. Slaughter Pact, Dread Horde, nope, all right. All right, well, we're getting there. Oh my God, we only got two minutes left. I know this is funny, we're not even talking about anything, we're just talking about how fast this video is gonna end. I thought 17 minutes was enough, and apparently I was wrong. We only have an, a minute and 30 seconds left. Oh man, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Delay, Silversmith, Stuffy Doll, Time of Need. I do need more time. Thank you so much for giving me that card that gives me the obvious statement. Oh, come on. This is absolutely ridiculous. Please give me the card. Just give me something spicy on camera. So Pete Magus of the Moon, Feather, and... Okay, well, it's, I mean, it's a foil rare, right? I guess we'll, yeah, we'll kind of take it. We will kind of take it. I know the cards are bleeding everywhere. I get it. Oh, we got a minute. We have one minute. Oh God, where am I with my life? I'm just sitting on camera dying over, ooh, Vincer? Zealous? Oh man, you're just playing with me at this point. Is this gonna be a one retro frame pack or box rather? Please tell me it's not that. I have a feeling it might be. Okay, we're just, you know what we're doing? We're skipping, we're skipping, we're looking. Mycologist, the Felonite, Disdainful Stroke. That's actually a pretty cool hit. We only got 40 seconds. Oh God, the studio's about to fall. Oh man, this is it. Gather your things, boys. The ship is sinking and we do not have what we came for. Alan from MysteryMTG.com. Gauntlet of Power, that's all. Ooh, okay, well, <laughs> I'll take that. Those are two pretty cool hits. Oh, I don't think we have time. Ugh. All right, guys, I think the video is about to end and I didn't even get to open this pack. We did get some good pulls. You know, I'll take it, I'm happy. I think the video is literally gonna end on itself because we're running out of storage here. Ooh, Urborg, I'll take it. Psalm Siliacrum. And that almost made me really happy, but it did not. All right, well, all right. I'll make these uh, last few packs a different video. How about that? We'll post it as a shorts. Alan from Mystery MTG.